the pandemic created multitude of impact uh, especially on the pharma sector uh, it has a negative it had a negative impact on patients especially due to a long mandatory isolation period a disruption in supply chain and the urgent need for the patients to have effective medications for their newer diseases so that was a major uh, impact that pandemic created over us as a society and as a sector as a as a need pharma sector had to evolve to adopt to technologies to make sure that we do bridge this massive gap in addressing the unmet medical need for the patients and there was an increasing acceptance for the evolving digital technologies by the pharma sector seen like never before and there were technologies which existed even then but somehow somehow there was inertia or a reluctance to accept these technologies but i think this was a great uh, you can say uh, call that they had to uh, rise to and uh, they did indeed rise to that call uh, and as a result it really helped pharma sector emerge as a true healthcare partner in delivering patient centric solutions always keeping in mind patient at the center of everything we do so there's a there was a great amount of collaboration in establishing this holistic care for the patient benefits this is something which is very heartening as an industry for all of us um, uh, specifically in the context of um, the technologies that we are talking about uh, and of course these technologies are also worth watching for for the years to come Uh, all of us know but again reiterating this is first and foremost being uh, artificial intelligence or ai based technologies and we know that ai is one of the most important platforms or artificial intelligence is the most important currently uh, in delivering the entire discovery and development of a drug so when we speak about importance of ai ai it's is in the entire you can say drug discovery and development of a product uh, to significantly improve the efficiency as well as the speed with which a drug can be developed the entire drug development process is significantly uh, fastened or fast tracked because of the ai based technologies and it has really helped in reduction of the clinical trial failure rate so this is again a very important thing ai based algorithms can help analyze the vast amount of data that we have uh, to make sure that we have potential drug targets identified for a very specific precise patient solutions second important one is the big data or anal anal analytics so basically big data analytics are very important to analyze patient level data uh, specifically when we speak about this these are the typical ehrs or electronic health records or lab results to identify potential risks for the patients and then predict treatment outcomes so again this is very important from the perspective of you know kind of a prognostic value and also really deriving very specific um, treatment outcomes for our patients third important one being cloud computing and this has really evolved significantly during the covid pandemic where did uh, you know uh, i think the healthcare sector as a whole really adopted the telemedicine technologies to make sure that the physicians are able to connect with their patients remotely and offer healthcare solutions uh, with them diagnosis and of course uh, based on this we could actually uh, securely uh, you know kind of store patient level data and it actually all helped physicians also take uh, you know easier decisions for patients and provide very timely and effective uh, care for our patients and the last one being a high performance computing and this is something which is which has really been a significant uh, breakthrough for us because with this we could really now talk about the sequencing of the entire the whole genome to be able to then analyze uh, you know the actual uh, you can say um, you know it's it really has made basically the genome sequencing not only computationally feasible but also financially viable and that's where you know it has enabled the advancement in terms of really deriving a very precise 
uh, target specific uh, treatment options for our patients. So all in all, if you really look at uh, the entire evolution of digital technologies and solutions, it has really led to a very strong impact on the holistic care for our patients. And as I always say that uh, all our decisions as a pharma or even as a healthcare provider should always have patient at the heart of everything we do. And really these technologies have helped uh, arrive at uh, the solutions for a healthcare uh, diagnosis as well as solutions with patient centricity being uh, at the heart and core of uh, everything that we have done. So yes, all in all, I think it has been a great uh, journey when it comes to digital technologies and pharma sector.